just recently, Monte Grappa, the Italian brand that you know we're all familiar with because they make such gorgeous pens, and also some of the coolest novelty type of pens. And I've got a novelty pen that I'm gonna show you today that when it came out, I was actually quite excited about it. And the reason for that is because it's based on a board game that I really enjoyed playing as a little kid. And it was, you know, the game I'm talking about is Monopoly. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. But there was something about holding like a stack of those orange $500 bills that really made you feel kind of special. I mean, you know, for a little kid, it's like, and it, I know every kid says this when they have the Monopoly money in their hands and they're like, I wish this was real. And you know, today I even think of that as an adult, I see a, that stack of money because we, we have the Monopoly board game here at home and I'm just like, gosh, I wish this was real. I could like buy so many pens with it. What I'm gonna show you today is this new, it's the Monte Grappa Monopoly Players Club edition. And there are three, and I'm gonna start by showing you the first one because I'm gonna unbox one pen and then I'm gonna show you all three of them together. So I actually have two of them sitting here unboxed and I'm staring right at them. I'm like, wow, one of them actually looks really good with my outfit today. But this one I'm gonna show you, this is the genius one. So there's one, it's called Landlord Genius and Tycoon. So let's go ahead and unbox this. We're gonna slip this box out of it and you're gonna love the design. If you're a Monopoly fan, you're gonna love it. I'm gonna slip off this green slip cover. And here's the outside box. It, you know what's weird is like, I look at it, it looks like a Piet Mondrian painting. So a de style painting, if you will. I look it up, if you don't know what it is, go Google it. So I think it's just so cool. So the design is based, of course, on the Monopoly board game. So you have Monte Grappa, the Monopoly, and so let's take this outer box off and wait till you see the inner box that it, the pen is actually in. So let me slip this off. And it, it looks it's like the same as the outer box, but I just, I think it's cool because then you have even more design elements to bring attention to this pen, which is, so we've got the, the front is the same as the outer box, but then you look on the side. And so here are some of the little icons that you might recognize from the board game, such as the car for free parking. You know, like when you land on that, you get all the money in the center of the board game and you're just like, yes! And it's such an awesome feeling to get that. You know, until you go to jail, but you know, whatever. Opening up the box. Inside is the pen. It is in a plastic sleeve. So at the very top here, we've got Monte Grappa. And I love how, you know, the inside of the box is also that green color that matches everything. And it also comes with two cartridges, pens in a sleeve. And let's see, underneath this false bottom, there is a little booklet. And it's basically, of course, and then the design is still cohesive. I know I keep pointing out the design elements, but to me, when a pen has great packaging design. It just makes it so much better. And to match the pen, it's just dreamy. It is. So let's see, inside this booklet, it's basically all your warranty information in like 5 million different languages. Nonetheless, it matches, it looks cool. So the soft velvety cover or the bottom that the pen rests upon. Now let's look at that pen. So I'm going to take it out of the sleeve and I accidentally, when I looked at it earlier, I kind of ripped the sleeve a little bit. So here we go. Here is the genius pen. This is my favorite one out of the three. I just love the colors. My favorite is all the little icons on the cap. So you have the, there's the top hat. And by the way, what was your favorite piece to play as? You know, you've got like the shoe, the iron, the sports car, 
Um, my favorite was always the top hat. That is the one I always chose to be in the board game. So I don't know, this is like such a nostalgic type of pen series, in my opinion. It just reminds me of that fun. And it's kind of, it's like, thank you, Monte Grappa, for bringing back happy memories. Seriously. I mean, that's really cool. Somebody at Monte Grappa must have loved playing Monopoly too. All right, back to the pen, back to the pen. No more walks down memory lane and stuff. So the pocket clip, you notice it has the M for the Monopoly. It is based on the cane that the Monopoly man carries around, which is, I think that's cool. And I just, again, I'm loving all these little icons. The finial has, it says M Monopoly, and it contrasts with the white cap. Around this ring, around the cap bottom, we've got Monopoly, and then on the other side it says Monte Grappa. And then of course, the light bulb with Genius. I love this color, pretty teal color. And then at the end of the barrel, you have some etched in lines with an M to represent Monopoly. Now let's take a look at that nib. It does have a stainless steel nib with that beautiful Monte Grappa pattern on it. I believe this is a broad nib and then the other two pens I have are fine nibs. So I like, I do like the section. I like that, you know, it contrasts with everything else. So it has this black and teal and then you have the little icons uh, that are on the cap. That looks really nice. Has a plastic feed and the pen is a cartridge converter system. Gosh, I love it when pens come with a cartridge. I'm sorry, it comes, yeah, duh, it comes with the cartridges, but I love it when it comes with its own converter and you don't have to go and buy an extra one. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Lamy. The converter also has the Monte Grappa logo on it. So put this back together. Does the pen post? Well, let's see. So, so you can see it can post. If you push it down with a little bit of friction. So this is what it looks like posted and it's not gonna fall off guys. Not at all, it's on there. Kind of weighs it, you know, puts a little more weight onto the pen uh, when it's hanging off the back of the barrel. I personally enjoy writing with my pens unposted. To me, that feels better. But I mean, it's, you know, the size of the pen, it's uh, it's not like super heavy. Um, in fact, when it's just the pen, it's actually a very nice weight. It feels good. But it's a solid pen. And it's a nice, it's a nice size, I think. I really like the size. So, yeah. I know, you want to see the other two pens to find Fine, let's look at them. This one's called the Landlord. So you have the nice complimentary colors of green and red. So this of course is based on the hotels and houses that you buy when you buy the property and put it on the board. So the green of course for the little green houses and then the red for the hotels. This one's pretty cool. I just, I like all three of them. I actually, I love all three of them, they're so cool. Same section as the other pen, same piece at the end of the barrel, same finial. So they pretty much keep the design of each pen cohesive. Let's look at the Tycoon pen, which is my second favorite from the series. So here's the Tycoon, it's got the Monopoly man on the barrel. Look at all that attitude. He's just like this confident little dude with a big mustache. And there's his, his little cane. And of course, all pens are very cohesive as far as the appearances, the hardware or the furniture, if you will. Let's look at them all together. Here we go. Here's all three of them. So which one is your favorite? Like, I still like this one. This one, I don't know if it's just because the, the colors pop more to me, 
or with the Dillis Pit, I'm gonna say the Genius one is my favorite. And then second would be the Landlord because I like the black and gold together. But this one definitely stands out to me. Very cool. Well, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm just gonna ink the Genius Pen because there's really no point inking all three of them. Kenra sent these out to me. Kenra Industry sent these to me uh, to play around with. And I'm gonna ink this one because I'm trying. I'm I'm gonna keep it. Shh. I'm gonna try to keep it. Yeah. Okay, so let's ink this pen up. Let's see how it writes. for joining me for this look at the Monte Grappa Monopoly Players Club Edition pens. I like them. And I always like the way that the Monte Grappa still nibs right. I mean, I know that last last summer it was the Harry Potter pen and it had the same nib. It wrote really well. And this year it's the same nibs, just a different housing or whatever, different bodies. And, but this is really, you know, this is a lot of fun. This pen is a lot of fun. I love the novelty of it. And if Monopoly is a game that you were very fond of or still are very fond of as an adult, perhaps, this could be a great collector's item for you. They're not cheap. I'm gonna tell you they are not cheap. The MSRP for one pen, so they're each $495 US. It's not cheap. So yeah, each one $495. But here's the thing. If you can find a pen retailer who offers a discount code, then you can knock that price down even further. That's my trick. That's what I do when I go out and buy the pens. I look for the retailer that's going to have a coupon code, and my favorite is Pen Chalet. Everybody should know that by now. But yeah, if you can knock, you know, get 10, 15% off of one of these, even better. I mean, you're gonna, it'll be closer to the $400 mark, but it's still, I mean, it's expensive. But I kind of think these are worth it because they are limited. They are limited editions. I'm not sure how many they made, but you know, before they're all sold out. But okay, well, that's, um, that's all I've got. And that's how the ink.
close.